Am I a beauty influencer? No. But do I love Sailor Moon? Yes. And today we have the whole new ColourPop and Sailor Moon collab. And I'm going to give you my honest opinions on how they actually did incorporating Sailor Moon into makeup and how it works for me. Let's go. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If we haven't already met, my name is Bailey. Nice to meet you. I am a collector of everything anime, Sanrio, Disney, and more. So if you enjoy that kind of content, make sure to stick around. And I am an avid fan of Sailor Moon specifically. When I saw that Sailor Moon and ColourPop did a new collab, I was like, I have to buy all of this, especially because it's supposed to be more cool toned than the original one, which I will show pictures here. I did make a TikTok about this. Told you guys if you were interested that I would give you guys all of my opinions on how they actually did incorporating Sailor Moon into the palette because there's been a lot of controversy. But before we go into that, let's open it all up. Here she is. Well, here's the bubble wrap. There we go. There's the new ColourPop collab. I got the entire collection because the amount that everything totaled to by the time I put in everything that I did want, like bundle wise, it was only $9 short of the full on bundle. So I decided to get all of it so that I can give you honest review about all of it. So we have two ultra lip duos and on the sides of the boxes, it shows them transforming. We have two eyeliners. It has the five inner sun sheet on the side, but there is a teal one and a purple one that we'll see later. Ooh, but here is the palette. And this one is called For Love and Justice pressed powder palette. There are two highlights. They have Luna and Artemis on the front and then on the back you just have Luna. I'm gonna go through everything in the order that I normally would do my makeup. I would say personally that I am a okay makeup person. I used to do a lot more makeup when I was younger because my skin was just easier to work with. Now I'm mainly just like an eye girl. I do already technically have moisturizer and concealer on. I am gonna still use primer and hopefully that doesn't mess up my concealer too much. Who knows? We'll, we'll figure it out. I'm honestly not that stressed about it. I use the NYX spray one. Nice. I'm also going to use this CoverGirl eyeshadow primer, which by the way is like under $10, I'm pretty sure. I really like these dark colors, but today I think I'm gonna keep it more on the pastel-y side. So I think I'm gonna go in with it. these two colors right here, which I believe, does it say on the front? It does, are Her Destiny and Secret Powers. So I think I'm gonna go in with Secret Powers first. It's very powdery. I heard somewhere that the more powdery it is, the more pigmented it is. Ooh, she's pretty. While I'm doing this, I'm gonna tell you my opinions on the palette slash what the controversy has been. Oh my gosh, that's like barely shows up on camera. Actually, you can kind of see it. It is a very light pale pink. A lot of people are saying that this palette in this entire collection and the last collection is not very Sailor Moon. And I get what you mean because when you think about Sailor Moon, you're thinking about all of the Sailor Senshi uniforms probably, right? Sailor Venus, Sailor Mercury, Sailor Mars, Sailor Jupiter. And when you're thinking about these, they are very bright, saturated colors. So when you think of a palette, you would expect it to be so, right? However, both this last palette that was mostly Usagi themed, let's make sure we're paying attention to that a lot. It's very Usagi slash Sailor Moon, but mostly just Usagi themed. Neither of them are very bright and saturated like the Sailor Senshi. I actually saw an amazing palette by a small business owner that I think I'm gonna try to get my hands on. That is a brilliant example of what I think everybody wanted these palettes to be. I have no idea if I did equal amounts on both lids because I was not paying attention. I'll just do a little bit more. It can't hurt anybody, right? <laughs> Ooh, I like how soft she is. This is really nice for me because like there are days I just don't want to have dramatic makeup and I'm honestly probably going to do like this color and a light glitter on the rest of my lid and that will be a bunch of my looks. So this color was Secret Powers. Next, I'm gonna go into her Destiny which is this light periwinkle kind of color. Periwinkle, lavender, purple, you can decide for yourself. Okay, it is also powdery, but not as powdery as the other one. Where am I gonna go with this? Hmm, I didn't plan this well. <laughs> it's fine. We're just gonna vibe with it. We're just gonna go and we'll figure it out on our way. Okay, so yeah, it's definitely blending with that, but I honestly don't mind because it's not creating an ugly color by any means. Yeah, no, I'm still fine with this, okay. I'll just build it. So we have a lot of people complaining that this is not a very saturated palette. And by those means, I completely agree, right? However, think about the actual aesthetic of the show and all of its branding. Even though it does have very saturated colors, it also has a lot of moments, like especially during the sad moments, or if you think of like the Neo Queen Serenity Moon Kingdom vibes, or Crystal Tokyo, that do have a lot of more pastel versions of things. If you think of the girls and what they wore, they did have some bright saturated clothing sometimes, but also they very much cared about styles and aesthetics. And though I do think they would like the more saturated palettes, I also think that they would be into the more pastel-y stuff as well, you know what I mean? So for those reasons, I do like the palette. I do think it's actually true to the show and to the vibes of Sailor Moon, even though it's not what everybody traditionally expected. Does it feel like a Sailor Moon palette? N yes and no. N 
yo, yo, yo. Yes and no. <laughs> it feels yo. <laughs> I really actually like how that is. I don't know if it's even at all because I've been doing my makeup in the phone instead of in the mirror, but it's fine. I think we may also go into girl power. Let me see how that is. It looks, yeah, it's also very powdery. I do have a little bit of the pink and the purple here. Yeah, barely anything though. Let's see. Okay, so that's how that's looking. And then maybe I'll put like a little bit on the inner corner. Honestly, I should have used a smudge brush for this. Mm, it's fine. Mm, actually, do I want to chance that? Yeah, we'll chance it. It's fine. I'm literally just putting it like, right on my waterline if I can. But I think I might also put a little bit more pink to see if I can get a little bit more saturated because it's just so pale of a color. Yeah, I definitely should have done this with a smudge brush. So we've used three colors. I'm keeping it very light today. So I'm probably not going to go into this blue today. I this one's calling my name, you know what I mean? But for the purple area, let's go with, ooh, actually though. So Cosmic, that's the one right there, is also really pretty. But it's kind of giving a little green on camera, which I'm not as much in love with. I am really loving Starlight right there. Ooh, this one's a little too dark right now. I think it has a lot of dark undertone. So I'm gonna go with, ooh, okay, so that one's a lot more glittery. I don't know if you can see that. It's a lot more chunky rather than just sparkly, you know what I mean? It's You can feel the texture difference. But I'm gonna just put it on the outside on top of the purples that I just just did. Cool. That looks really pretty. I'm gonna stay with something lighter for the middle. I was gonna go over to save the world, but I feel like that will give a completely different vibe. So I think I'm gonna go with this one instead, which it looks a lot more pink in person, but it is friends forever. I'm gonna go into that instead. Ooh, this one's a lot butterier. I'm gonna put that one more in the middle. Ooh, do you guys see that? That's so pretty. Oh my gosh. I love that. Ooh, she's pretty. She's really pretty. Woo! I'm gonna go with this one right here. I'm trying to put as many on as possible as well for you guys to see, even though this is probably not the best representation. We're gonna go with Twinkles. It is gonna be this one right here. You guys see that? Whoa. This one is a lot like Starlight, what I just described. I think you can see it's kind of chunkier. That's literally the best way to describe it. And then I'm just literally gonna press that on. Woo! So much glitter. Oh my gosh. Do not put these on if you do not like glitter because this is about to be all over your face, all over your clothes, all over your dogs and cats. And I'm here for it. Oh my gosh. It's always much harder doing it on the side. These are literally so sparkly and gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Those are so pretty. It's a sparkle gradient and I'm here for it. I actually think I'm going to go back in with Secret Powers right here. I'm just going to put a little bit more here to blend it a little bit more. Trying to give the glitter a little bit more of a fade. I don't know if this is the right smudge brush, but I'm going to use it. Use the dark purple. I'm going to smudge it on the bottom. Ooh! I kind of wish she was cooler. I was putting this on. I feel like I get this purple in every warm eyeshadow palette. You know what I mean? When they're like, oh, we're also including purple in this to like spice it up. No, I wish this was more of a grape and it's giving wine purple. You know what I mean? I'm not saying she's not pretty. She's gorgeous, but I'm just saying if I were to pick, I would rather that. I feel like we should go in with eyeliners next. So we have two eyeliners. These are, the best way to describe them in my opinion is like a gel eyeliner stick. This is BFF Cream Gel Liner. So it is a gel eyeliner. Ooh, okay, so this is the purple one. It's pretty much almost the exact same color as the stick itself. But I don't know why I'm doing it on my nose like that. All right, the second one. Ooh, okay, so they matched the components to the eyeliners themselves, so that's amazing. So this one is called Crystal Tokyo, which I honestly think I would have imagined to be more of like a pearlescent moon color, not teal. This one is definitely teal and it also has some shimmers in it. I don't know if this is gonna clash with my eye. I already have a lot of purple on my eye. Maybe let's go with the purple one and do it on the outer corner where there's already purple. I might put black over it later. <laughs> Who knows? But we're gonna do that. It's very purple. Very, very purple. It's probably be very cute if you like doing like little eyeliner, like looks and shapes and stuff. I'm not one of those people. We're gonna do blue here. Oh my god, I'm so scared because I never do blue. So it usually clashes with my eyes. Honestly, I'm looking at this and I feel like it already clashes, but it's fine. There's so many sparkles on my eye. There we go. Okay, I don't absolutely hate that. That's pretty. I don't know how often I'll use this, but it's pretty. I'm gonna do a little bit of black eyeliner on the top just because I wanna put mascara on and 90% of the time I end up making a mess. So I'm gonna do that off camera and then I'll come back. But okay, we have this done and also the sun's starting to go down so I gotta do this fast. But on the bright side, it makes my background look so pink and I love it. I want to go with this one because this one's more of my shade range over this one. This one is the Pretty Guardian Gloss. So this is a gloss and the Sailor Star 
Star Ultra Blotted Lip, which is interesting. Sailor Star is like season five. But for some reason, we're putting it in this palette, which only has the five main guardians advertised on it. But I mean, I mean, I'm not mad. This is what it looks like. It's like a purpley pink. I don't have a good description for this, but this is more of like a rose gold kind of gloss, but it's not, but it is, but it's not. They do kind of have green shimmers in them, more so the silver one than this one here. This first one has Luna on it, and this one is Luna Kingdom Press Powder Highlighter. Yeah, this is a highlighter, not a blush, but I honestly, you can use it as a blush. It's just gonna be a really sparkly blush. So that's the first one. Ooh, this one has Artemis on it. We love that because he wasn't part of the last collab, but Luna was on both packages of the last collab. Kind of looks more peachy on camera than it is in person. Ooh, okay, so it's drier than I expected, and it's not as sparkly, but it is giving kind of like pearlescent vibes. I'm just gonna... You can see it there. Ooh, look at her. Nice. I don't have a blush brush slash highlighter brush on me right now. Either or. So I'm just gonna do it with my finger. You can use this as a blush. It's just kind of dark. This is more for my darker skin girlies, not me. And I love that for you. But you can also use almost anything that is created for your face, anywhere on your face. Almost everything. This is what it looks like on there. I don't know, let's go with it. I can't see that at all. I also grab next to none. I'm just doing a little bit underneath. Okay, that's cool. So it kind of like, I'm using it a little bit as blush and you can barely see it, but I'm also probably not applying it well at all. So do not take this as an example of this product probably. Ooh, okay, but you can see like the, it does look more purpley there and I like that. I could probably use it as my normal one now that I'm thinking about it, as long as I'm not like taking it onto the brush. Um, because it does have a darker cast. I think I like the placement that I did for it. Yeah, yeah, there we go. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this gloss yet. Maybe I'll put it over the highlighter, who knows? In the pink light on my hair, it reminds me of when my hair was pink and I miss it. I loved it a lot. It was just causing a lot of problems and I don't want pink hair at my wedding personally. So, there's that. So she definitely is very pretty. According to my color palette, I think I'm a cool summer. This is one of my colors. I will also throw up a picture of what it looks like on other skin tones. It's not thick at all. I was expecting it to be more oily. It isn't. It's very light. I'd put one coat on. You can see a little bit of my natural lip color coming through, but I'm okay with that because it's a blotted lip. Does that make sense? So it's a lot lighter. It's almost like, um, like if you imagined a color tool, like a pink tool, and then you put it over your skin and then you see what your skin looks like through the tool. That's what this is giving me. I always like this color, but I'm always afraid to put it on because I always just feel like the finish ends up making it look so strong and I don't wear a ton of makeup like that. So now I'm gonna do the gloss. I am not a gloss girly. Straight up because my skin is not very glossy. I'm gonna do this. I'm scared. Oh, it's a very small applicator. I thought it was a brush for a second. I'm just gonna do a little bit in the middle because I don't like it going all the way out to the edges of my, or the corners of my mouth. Oh, it's pretty though. The thing is with the cool colors and with the gloss, it's giving me like early 2000s slash 90s vibes. Especially with this, like if you made this beaded or something, it's giving me my childhood. <laughs> and now we have the last product, which is the So Dewy face gloss. It also says it's a body gloss. So if you're going out to a party or something like that and you're wearing like those cute little silk dresses or something, you put this on your collarbone, it would look so pretty. So pretty. Also, my wrist definitely just popped. I don't know if you're supposed to shake this beforehand. I am. I am. Can we talk about those Sailor Crystal? Sailor Cosmos? Sailor Moon Cosmos. Sailor Moon Cosmos. Yes, I think so. That movie is coming to America, I think, next year. It already came out in Japan, and I need to find somewhere to watch it because I don't know if I can wait a whole another year to watch it because I am way too excited for that movie. I already bought like two, three, possibly four Sailor Cosmos pre-ordered statues. One is like this big. It's almost a foot, if not a foot. I got two Q baskets and I also got the Sailor Cosmos staff and that's all on pre-order and I'm so excited. Okay, so this took a little effort to open, but I was definitely thinking there was gonna be more product in here, but it really just seems like it's only in this space right here. Interesting. Oh wait, is it already open? No, okay, so it does have a, like a little plastic cover on it. It's 
Ooh, that's interesting. So I'm gonna be very sparing with this because I am not a super glossy girly, even though I know my older sister, which by the way, she likes doing a lot of beauty budget makeup. So if you like beauty on a budget, go check out Hallie Sparkles. I'm just gonna do a little bit where I already put highlighter. I'm just gonna blend it out with my finger. You see it there? Maybe, I already have a lot of sparkles on, so maybe not. My thing is falling off. Now they look like somebody from like the 1800s or something. That's what it looks like. Who is your favorite Sailor Senshi? I recently did a post about this on my story. You can go check me out at the Bailey Pop on all platforms. And there were a lot of answers. I didn't see Sailor Venus super often though, which was interesting. So I guess I was just expecting her to be more popular, but she's definitely not. Mine is Sailor Neptune. And my hair is not as clean as I would like it to be for this video, but you do what you can, right? <laughs> kind of hate that. Before I go, I will say I put this gloss on a little while ago and I thought it would be dry and then I went and I touched my face and it's still very oily after the fact. So I don't know if it's supposed to like blend into your face more, but it is not with mine. I have very dry skin. Yeah, you can see it's like sticking. I don't love that. Mm. So that might be my least favorite product. My favorite product, probably the eyeshadow palette, but I just love eyeshadow in general. I was genuinely surprised by the lips. I really liked them, the ones that I did try and I did like the eyeliners. I think they went on well, they were very blendable, but I think they'll stay if you need them to stay as long as you set them correctly. The highlighters were not as sparkly as I thought they were going to be. I think that you would have to build them up a lot and if that's something you like, then that would be great for you. The gloss, if you've worked with the glosses before, then you'll love it. If you haven't, then you might not. I personally don't. Do I think the original Sailor Moon palette and this Sailor Moon palette slash these collabs fully embody Sailor Moon? Not the characters, but yes, the aesthetic. But this is a full face of the new Sailor Moon ColourPop collab. If you enjoyed this video, you probably like this one too. And always remember that you are loved, you are valued, and you are enough. Bye!